hydrogen in the water, a mix that is pumped to the top of our A-frame hydroponic system. So the water is, is brought up through the magnetic gate and up to the top of our tubes. And on this side, you can see that within two weeks of adding hydrogen, we have stim flower stimulation of all the plants at the top of the tube and fruiting. And each plant has, from like similar to this, have 10 flowers and continue to stimulate good uh, leaf growth and flowers with good strawberry sizes for the first row and then coming down with less hydrogen as you go down. On the other side I've transferred these uh, nice plants to the second row to try and stimulate the, row, the second row into the top row to see if we can stimulate those plants with more flowers. But you can see we have the same similar results up to 13 flowers and, and uh, fruit coming with good leaf growth on the strawberries from the stimulation of hydrogen. So you can take any of these and see that we put in the uh, sediment into the cup and the root growth is, is, is quite good with the micronutrients but the stimulation of the hydrogen allowed for the flowering and the fruit generation which it had none, literally none, prior to adding the hydrogen machine. 新氧能源科技在国内常运用在交通运输跟热能转换。现在商机庞大的美容医疗市场也开始运用这项科技，利用纯水产生氢氧气体，研发出人体保健的专利器材。More than 300 Japanese companies showcased a variety of products related to spa, cosmetics, and food products at the recently held Diet and Beauty Fair 2015 in Tokyo. Zero Company Limited has introduced anti-aging formula called Tabletop Hydrogen Generator, which is able to produce a high purity hydrogen. Hydrogen coalesces with the active oxygen in the body and becomes water. Since it's hard to drink a lot of hydrogen water, this is easy as to breathe spontaneously. The machine can incorporate hydrogen 10 ml per minute. The equipment called Water Fairy generates a high concentration of hydrogen by electrolyzed purified water. By nasal inhalation for about 10 minutes, it makes the same effect worth for drinking 5 liters of saturated hydrogen water. By using the method for one month, it improves the tone of the skin and helps improve allergic symptoms. A customer who purchased this product said it increases the oxygen amount, adding that it also improves skin whitening and fades stain away. So I, I got the first clues, uh, real legitimate clues, about Brown's gas from a chiropractor. Uh, we'll call him Lloyd. Lloyd uh, emailed me and asked me if the oxygen in Brown's gas was of a different kind that would help oxygen therapies because he was experimenting with oxygen therapies. He'd been retired and, and just trying to still thinking about helping people get well. In any case, I said I, I, I didn't know. And so he said, do you mind if I come up and test it myself? And I said, no problem, come up. We made an appointment. I noticed my stopped. landlord was walking by my lab at that particular time, and we said, he was a big guy, and we said, come on in, do you, uh, do you have any pain? And he said, sure, I got pain in my neck and my shoulder. And so uh, Lloyd, being a chiropractor, knew just where to put the Brown's gas so that it would um, help in the uh, pain aspect. But um, it turned out that it was the uh, the Brown's gas itself seems to be going right through the skin into the um, into the bloodstream and hydrating the muscles, and that seems to be the thing that causes the pain relief. The the knots of muscle just release as they get rehydrated. Our bodies are made mostly of water. Water is made of oxygen and hydrogen. By weight, because because oxygen is eight times heavier than hydrogen, by weight we're mostly oxygen. But by volume. We have twice as much hydrogen as oxygen, and the, and the molecules are the same size, so by volume we're actually twice as much, mostly hydrogen. So hydrogen is vital 
to everything that goes on in our bodies. And in this particular case, it wasn't the oxygen, as in oxygen therapies, that was doing the uh, enhancement. It was the hydrogen portion of the Brown's gas, along with some energetic uh, things that we'll talk about in later videos. But in this particular case, what we're talking about is the Brown's gas going directly into the, into the bloodstream through the skin and hydrating the body. Now, Lloyd, from that first experiment, went back to uh, his city. <clears throat> and started um, experimenting with Brown's gas on his, his uh, patients. He didn't have money to actually buy one of our water torches, but he was able to build a machine. His friend helped him build a machine um, of his own from the Brown's Gas Book 2. And eventually that particular machine broke down. Uh, and, and that's the next time we essentially heard from Lloyd. <laughs> he called us up desperate saying, and I, 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 we just always are amused to laugh a little bit at this because he was seriously desperate. He was actually, um, when his machine broke down and he had to tell his uh, patients that they weren't going to get a Brown's gas treatment when they came in for their chiropractic adjustment, they said, well, then we won't even bother coming in because it was so they were so much better, uh, so much pain relief by the uh, Brown's gas that they didn't even want to come in unless they were getting a Brown's gas treatment. So Lloyd uh, immediately called us up bought an actual commercial machine at that time uh, because now he had some money <laughs> and he uh, went back and, and started uh, treating his patients with the commercial machine. Now another interesting thing that was discovered was it wasn't just muscles, this hydration really helped things like uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, Lloyd clued us into this that the uh, um, tendons, the, uh, the sheath of the tendon gets inflamed because of, uh, of dehydration. There was an oriental person who actually was buying my ER-1200 water torches and he actually patented the uh, Brown's gas for use in health in, uh, in the Orient. Um, he would take my buy my water torches, rebrand them with things on <laughs> his own labels on the front and sell them to health practitioners in the Orient. And this is his patent, and, and there's amazing things that he said in his patent, like um, um, groups of people where they were treating myalgia, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, infection, in, infectious inflammation, non-infectious non inflammation, allergy, bronchitis, asthma, uh, the list just goes on and on, including uh, glaucoma, uh, cataracts, Parkinson's disease, um, gout, panic disorder, diabetic neuropathy. There's two aspects of this. There's the enhancing water and there's the energizing water. I'll talk about energizing water in the next video. In enhancing water, you have to understand that Brown's gas is made of hydrogen and oxygen, um, both in monatomic and diatomic forms. These have been uh, thoroughly tested by uh, independent uh, scientists and stuff now. So Brown's gas itself is non-toxic. Hydrogen and oxygen are non-toxic gases. Hydrogen is the ultimate antioxidant. So by putting more hydrogen into your body, uh, and in this case into the water, when they do the tests that measure um, oxygen reduction potential, the uh, uh, water experts, there's been several alternative, um, alternative science, alternative water experts that, that that's their business. They, they f try to find the healthiest possible water for people. And in at least four cases, top uh, experts about water tested this water and found when they were bubbling Brown's gas in the water, testing the Brown's gas bubbled water, it was up to 10 times more effective in things like oxygen reduction potential than anything they had ever seen. Now these are experts that it, this is their life's work, right? The Brown's gas raises the pH of water into a more healthy state it, in uh, as far as the oxygen goes and, or excuse me, hydrogen goes and makes the oxygen reduction potential which is uh, a great indicator of uh, healthy water. Great. They'll take a cotton ball, they'll soak it with water, uh, in this particular case, and they'll put a cap on it, just a regular uh, cap like off a, a pop bottle, and then tape that onto a wound or a, um, in this case it was a melanoma a type cancer that we're thinking about. The guy had it right on his uh, on his forehead right here and he would just tape it on there and in two weeks the melanoma dried up and, and it was healed. It's a, it's a unique um, ability of Brown's gas to actually energize water with a kind of a electricity. 
there's two different ways it happens. The first is that the Brown's gas itself has a kind of a static electricity, which can build up on surfaces and points and, and sharp edges and things like that. And the second thing, that's just kind of contained generally within the gas, and the second thing is one of the constituents of gas, of the Brown's gas, is something that I call electrically expanded water. It's still H2O, but uh, it's actually been expanded with electricity to the point where it's become a gas instead of uh, a liquid. It just contains electricity, like a sponge soaks up water, well the, the water soaked up electricity. So with these two uh, con electrical constituents of the Brown's gas, it actually energizes the water. It's just a whole realm that science hasn't really um, embraced. In fact, uh, skeptics uh, throw it off all over the place. You'll see that on the internet. To go on to another uh, aspect of Brown's gas, it actually ties into something called homeopathy and what's called the law of infasmals. You can look this up on the internet and what have you. Again, science hasn't embraced this particular type of um, aspects of water, but it's, but it's definitely one of those things about energizing water. Now a third thing about, it isn't the electrical energy, but we're talking about energizing water in, with life energies. And with homeopathy, they can actually start with a, um, something that is a deadly poison, uh, like um, hemlock, for example, and have a mixture of hemlock, and then they mix it half and half with, uh, with pure distilled water, and then shake that mixture, and then mix that half and half, and shake that mixture, and, and just keep going with these halves until they get down to a point where there may be only one molecule per billion in the tenth uh, mixture of this uh, water, and yet that that mixture of water still has a medicinal effect of uh, when they when they feed it to somebody now in this case it has the effect without the poison and that's what they call the law of infasmals because the there's just an infasmal amount of that uh, actual substance in the water there might not even be a molecule of it in the water but what has happened is the information the uh, the life energy the uh, the imprint of that hemlock is still in the water and there's an uh, oriental fellow called Emoto who is demonstrating this with healing waters and, and, and bad waters all over the planet where he's developed this method where he can freeze water essentially instantaneously and look at the crystal structure of the water. And the waters from, that are healthy have magnificent crystal structures and the waters that are, uh, are polluted uh, just look like crap, quite frankly. So the, uh, and, and it's quite easy to see. And they can uh, imp go on and look and find his work uh, and how he energizes the water with uh, life energies. So water has an amazing ability to absorb energy that we, of uh, various kinds, and be energized uh, that, that science just simply is on the very fringe of even discovering. 